so hi everyone welcome back to another video on the channel in this video we are going to download the project that i have sold in my previous video from my github and i will show you how exactly you can run it on your local system step by step as some of you had doubts uh, while running the project that i have shown in the previous video so i will show you step by step how to download it from the github and run it step by step so now i have opened my github profile now let's move into the repository and download the project that i have shown in the previous video you have to click this green button and then download zip version of the project this is a big project uh, uh, the length or the size is little bit more it was around 200 mb because of the images and all configurations files used so it's downloading and we have to wait some time and it will be downloaded soon and then we have to move into the Eclipse uh, ID or, or any other ID. And then we have to run that particular project. And I will show you step by step how to do that. So it's downloading. 100 MB is downloaded, a little bit more. This was the uh, also the zip file of the project that i downloaded yesterday and i was trying to configure it again on my system after downloading from github so this is the zip file that's downloaded now let's move into our downloads folder and uh, check the file this is the file now we have to extract all and uh, it's being extracted after extracting it i will cut and paste it in the downloads folder so that it's easy to access and we will close this and we will uh, add it to the downloads folder so that it's easy to access from the downloads folder so this is the folder your well hospital management main which is our branch in the GitHub. Now you have to open any ID. You have to open any ID. Before that, I'm going to delete this server because this server already contains uh, some of our uh, hospital management configuration. So it will uh, have some problem while opening the server or configuring the server with the new project because it also have the same name and same configuration. So let me clean the Tomcat work directory. And after cleaning, as this is a Maven project, you have to uh, click on file option here. Then you have to click on the import option. Then import existing Maven from the Maven option choose existing Maven projects, then click next. Then uh, in the root directory, browse and select the particular folder that you have downloaded and extracted. And you have to uh, let the system configure this pom.xml, which is the main uh, dependency file of the maven project so it says that project hospital management system already exists add a version or custom suffix using name template so we have to give another name to it because hospital management system already exists so we are going to give hospital management system v2 version 2 and then we will click on form.xml and we will click finish okay our project is being configured by the system uh, so as you can see this is the pom.xml file of our uh, project 
this is a maven based project so we don't have to add any external dependency like mysql connector servlet api or itext jar file we don't have to add it uh, manually to our library files we just have to add the dependency file and after we configure the project the system will automatically generate a var file uh, it will be in the target section of your project as you can see hospital management dot war uh, after the project has been compiled and uh, configured by the system the jar file will be added in the liv folder of your project liv folder of your war file as you can see jstl jar file is there mysql connector jar file is there but the itext jar file is not there so what i have to do is that i have to maven click uh, right click on the project then click maven then sorry we have to click run as then we have to uh, choose the seventh option that is maven install it will install our projects uh, configurations again and download all the jar files and update the war file so that our uh, all the dependency and jar files are being added to the war file and we don't have any problem while running the project as you can see in the liv folder the i text jar file is added now so we don't uh, we don't we won't have any problem uh, while running this problem project so all this is done and this is the form.xml file and before running the project you must uh, set up the database as well because it's already set up in my system but it won't be in your system so make sure you use a database hospital management system and uh, sorry it's i think there was an underscore between the words then you have to set up all the tables and the details in the database i will show you the description of the tables so that you can uh, update the tables and uh, design them accordingly and make sure you do this before running the project because without the database the project will not run i will show you the schema of the appointment table as you can see in the appointment table we have uh, how many fields 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 uh, you have to write the queries or you can use mysql workbench to generate this table using all these fields make sure you keep the data types and the keys and the uh, auto increment etc carefully and then we have i have to show the doctor table as well it, this is the doctor table all these details so make sure you are getting the screenshot of this uh, database schema and then uh, setting up setting it up in your local system let me show you specialist table as well so make sure you are taking the screenshot and setting it up in your local system and last one is user details dsc user details so this is the user details which is required using uh, while the user is uh, signing up for the system so make sure you take the screenshot of this properly and we will move into the uh, project and after that you also need to check the java servlets and the and the dao parts you need to double check it because there may be some missing imports or something like that you have to make sure that the uh, all the details and the database names are being correctly input uh, here according to what database you are using 
uh, what database table you are using in your system and make sure all the imports are also being done correctly. And in the DB part, in the DB connected Java, uh, use your own uh, ID and password over here. Here I have used my own uh, ID and password for my SQL and also use the database name that you have given for your system uh, instead of hospital management system that I have given here. So after this, uh, after all this uh, cross checking and uh, uh, configurations, our project is being set up correctly. So now we just have to uh, start our server and the project will run properly. As you can see, the project uh, server has been set up and now I just need the index.jsv file and I have to run on server. I have to click the Tomcat 9.0 and make sure you are using Tomcat 9.0 version because uh, this is uh, based on Java X servlet, not Jakarta servlet. So it will be supported by Tomcat 9, uh, not any version of Tomcat above 9. So make sure you are using Tomcat 9 or the lower versions for this particular project. Finish. Let me restart the server. As you can see, the project is loading and everything is showing correctly. And let me check the functionalities. Admin login. And uh, let me just log in as admin. Logging as admin. Yes, the dashboard is working correctly. Add doctor page is opening correctly. View doctor is opening correctly. Edit details page is also opening correctly. Patient dot JSP page is also opening correctly. Logging out is also opening correctly. Appointment page is also working fine. Let me log in as the user. One, two, three, four. User page is also running fine. Let me book a demo appointment. And let me give some random values like this uh, to book the appointment tomorrow. Let me give the email viral fever. Submit and the appointment slip is also being downloaded properly. That means our iText GR file is also working properly. So everything is about the project is working finally. As you can see, I have downloaded the project from GitHub and showed you step by step how to implement or configure it yourself. Make sure you are following the steps that I have given. The most important uh, thing uh, while configuring the project is to set up the database properly, including the names and the database names correctly and all the fields so that you don't have any SQL exception because uh, if the tables names mismatch with the project and your table name, there will be SQL exception occurring. So make that. Uh, make sure you uh, keep that in mind and also you need to check for the DAO and servlets for any missing imports and then you clean and install the project using the maven install and update the um, project uh, so that the war file generates all the uh, jar files that are necessary for the project as you can see i text pdf jar file was not uh, in, uh, not uh, generating before we updated the maven project so after we installed it again our jar file is uh, showing here in the library part so this is about uh, how we can download any project and run it on our local system on github 
hope you like this video you, if you have any problem or any doubts regarding this video or any previous video you can definitely reach me in the comments till then keep learning thank you